Here, in Messina, more than 22 years ago, the first hydrofoil for civil use was launched. In the wake of that achievement, very advanced for the time, a whole industry has grown up. Naval Technica, thanks to the Rodriguez shipyard's experience, today has a highly specialized staff consisting of more than 400 workers, as required by the extremely technological nature of its craft production. In the course of its 22 years' experience in construction, routine maintenance and management of passenger services, Naval Technica has projected and built over 125 hydrofoils, always using the most advanced techniques, which is why the company has become the leader in its field in the Western world. According to the statistics for 1977, in the 24 countries where hydrofoils are used for passenger services, they transported over 190 million people, covering over 58 million nautical miles. That is about 2,400 times around the equator. Among various hydrofoil uses, there is as a link between land bases and oil platforms at sea. Safety, speed, seaworthiness and flexibility of use are the characteristics that make this kind of hydrofoil the best craft to fulfill this task. This is the hydrofoil Porto Corsini operating in the Adriatic Sea for the Agip Mineraria Company. Technica hydrofoils are constructed in light alloy aluminium, a material that has demonstrated excellent qualities of corrosion resistance. The construction method is similar to the one used for airplanes. In fact, the hull is built by welding and riveting. structures are constructed in high resistance alloy steel and their special hydrodynamic design can secure the necessary lift. These foil structures are designed to operate in conditions of guaranteed security on the most adverse sea. The foil design assures the automatic stability of the craft. Whatever the trim variation produced by the sea conditions, the craft automatically reacquires its original trim. Safety characteristics are enhanced by the hydrofoil's uncapsizability. The foil structure acts as a stabilizing weight under the keel line. And furthermore, by the craft's potential unsinkability. Filling the double bottoms with expanded polystyrene gives the necessary reserve buoyancy, even if all the watertight compartments are flooded. traditional craft, the hydrofoil is the only one that combines high speed with easy management and economic routine maintenance. The propulsion system consists in diesel engines and traditional propellers. Diesel engines, produced by MTU, guarantee high performances and exceptional reliability. Maintenance is easy, even in difficult climatic areas, while technical assistance is available all over the world. The power necessary to maintain maximum continuous speed, cruising speed, is equal to two-thirds of maximum engine power. This means economy in management and a long life for the craft. This assertion is confirmed by the first hydrofoil, Freccia del Sole, Sun Arrow, launched in 1956 and still operating in the Straits of Messina. 
Ever since the first generation of hydrofoil units, every Naval Technica hydrofoil has been designed and built to carry out its operative tasks at top performance, even in heavy sea conditions. In this sequence, shot a number of years ago, you can see Condor 1 during regular passenger service in the English Channel with Sea State 5-6. many years, very varied meteoro-marine conditions have been faced by Naval Technica hydrofoils all over the world, with acceptable comfort standards on board. These positive results have not resulted in any reduction in research on the part of the Naval Technica Study Division. On the contrary, they have been an incentive and an encouragement to obtain better stability in order to achieve maximum comfort on board. So it is that during the last few years, the RHS-160 project has been realized. The main characteristics are displacement, 85 tons. Length, overall, 31 meters. Molded breadth, 6.3 meters. Draft, hull borne, 3.70 meters. This hydrofoil is air-conditioned and can transport 180 passengers and their luggage. It also incorporates an important innovation. The Seakeeping Augmentation System, developed by our shipyards in collaboration with Hamilton Standard. This innovation consists in a simple electronic system that, by means of a gyro, an accelerometer, and flaps installed on the foils, permits automatic, or if preferred manual, rectifying of the boat's trim in flight, further reducing roll, pitch, and yaw. Such effects, as shown by bearings taken on board in Sea State 5-6, were still present in Condor 1. The adoption of SAS has considerably reduced roll and pitch values in every sea condition. This is Condor 5, one of the first RHS hydrofoils sailing in the English Channel, stabilized with SAS and demonstrating reliable seaworthiness notwithstanding Sea State 5. During the six-day trials required by the Royal Navy, the unit's performance was tested and registered by Royal Navy technicians with Royal Navy instruments. The unit, displacing 86 tons, sailed at a continuous speed of 33 knots up to sea state low six, with a significant average wave height of 3.5 meters and with a maximum of six meters. In these sea conditions, the most significant data recorded in the polar bearings show how roll and pitch root mean squares in flight are contained between one and two degrees. In Hullborn conditions and sea state four, roll is contained in two degrees, pitch in about one degree only. In state low six, the root mean squares of the accelerations recorded are so reduced as not to interest the curves on the right-hand side of the diagram, which represent for specific acceleration values, time limits of sea endurance for a normal subject. Furthermore, boat accelerations represented in frequency values are outside the zone in which 10% of passengers may get seasickness. Frequency screening indicated around 0.30 hertz. On the basis of these concrete results, a comparison has been made between the RMS roll movements registered on board of the hydrofoil flying at the speed of 33 knots in sea state low six and the theoretical study of a 400 ton stabilized conventional ship sailing at the speed of 20 knots in sea state five. In themselves, the results displayed by the diagram are already exhaustive. The hydrofoil presents roll RMS limited to two degrees. 
On the contrary, despite its greater displacement, its lower speed, and more advantageous sea state, the conventional ship presents a roll RMS variation rate between 0.5 and 4.5 degrees. These results make the hydrofoil not only suitable for civil use, but above all, its stability platform characteristics make it really effective as a vector both for conventional and for missile weapon systems. Therefore, in accordance with the international tendency to employ hydrofoils for military tasks, Naval Technica has devoted its considerable experience to studying military naval units directly derived from civil hydrofoils. Even units with a displacement higher than that of those built so far have been considered. In order to obtain greater nautical and speed performance, a 22-year record of success in 24 countries of the world in the field of civil hydrofoils represents for Naval Technica the best guarantee for the future of its military hydrofoils.